Hey everyone, so here I wanted to show you, I have a Verizon uh, gateway internet router that I'm using as a backup type of router for this uh, business network. And uh, originally when they gave it to me, they had a dynamic IP on here and I requested them to switch it to a static IP. And once we did that, the device would not connect onto the internet. So I just wanted to show you what we had to do. I called Verizon. I talked to a bunch of people that didn't know anything. I eventually got a hold of someone that did. Uh, and after like an hour and a half, um, I was able to find that person who was able to help me through this. So I just wanted to share it with you in case you run into this problem. <clears throat> so you have the device. It's no longer working once uh, they issue a static IP. So basically what you have to do is you have to go into advance and under advance, you're gonna go down to network settings. And once you go to network settings, you're gonna go down to network connections. So once you go to network connections, then you end up basically here and you'll see this uh, broadband connection cellular that'll say that it's disconnected. So you're gonna to wanna to go down to edit, click on edit. And when you do that, it'll bring you here and you'll see that there's no information here because it's disconnected. So essentially it's not, even though you have a static IP, it's not getting it from the Verizon AP or antennas that it's supposed to get it. Uh, so you need to go down here to settings and you click on settings. And then once you do that, <clears throat> then you'll end up here. And it's basically this here. It seems like if you're getting a dynamic IP uh, on your device, this is the correct uh, internet APN that it's supposed to point to. You need to switch it to this one, which is WE01 dot VZW static. So you basically change it to this, click apply, and it's gonna go through and start spinning and stuff. And then basically you'll end up with uh, a connection. It'll connect to the static IP. If I go back here and let me just, uh, click on this and then go back to network settings and go back to network connections. Now you'll see where basically cellular is going to say connected and then you'll have the IPs that you're looking for and then it should start working. All right. Uh, hope that's helpful to someone out there. Uh, again, this is if you get a device with dynamic IPs, you switch them to static. I'm assuming if you buy, if you get the device originally with static IPs, you don't have to go through this. But if not, you basically have to change what AP uh, this device is hitting on the Verizon side. Okay, hope that's helpful to someone out there. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this content. Give a thanks if you really, really like it. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.